I chose to study sport and exercise science as I really enjoyed um, biology as a subject um, and I also had a, a lot of interest in sport outside of school um, and decided to combine the two um, as I thought I'd really enjoy both of them together. I wanted to do something in a health related field and something with sport but I wasn't sure specifically what I wanted to go into um, so it kind of gave me a broad perspective on things I could eventually go into. Studying uh, sport and health sciences, uh, a lot of people probably wouldn't think it's, it's beyond just doing sport. So you're not really here just to play the sport that you enjoy. Actually, there's a whole different realm of um, things you can study within sport and health sciences. So I've come at it from a nutrition and health point of view, but also you'll have um, the performance aspect as well. So you, it's not just about performing your sport. You have to kind of understand the basics behind it. So why you uh, perform better or from a health point of view, by doing this type of exercise or eating this certain way, you know, you have benefits from that. Uh, I most enjoy um, the practical nature of sports science. Um, the lab's always really interesting. And also, one of the main things I enjoy is the fact that everything that I learn in the course, I kind of apply to my own sport and I do coaching as well. So I can kind of apply everything I'm learning already straight into sort of practical um, aspects. What I enjoyed most about sport and health sciences um, was learning about um, elite sport um, and the factors that affect the performance of, of athletes. Um, mainly I was interested in the psychology um, of sport um, and, and sort of the influence of thought on performance um, but equally I was interested in learning about the physiology behind um, elite sports performance as well. So my research at the moment is looking at um, the reasons that athletes perform differently under pressure so looking at their psychophysiological responses to pressurised situations and trying to use that to predict how they're actually going to perform when placed in those situations. It also has applications to other areas as well where you need to apply and people need to perform under pressure. So we're doing some work in aviation, surgery um, and with the military as well. The variety of topics that you actually cover within um, the subject area uh, is what was really interesting for me. We get to cover a variety of things from physiology, psychology, biomechanics. So there's something that's always new uh, and interesting so you never really get bored within the subject. So my main research area is focused um, on looking at physical activity measurement in children uh, and this is a really important area in terms of real world applications. Some of my research is focused on the relationship with mental health and looking at self-esteem and depression and anxiety in children age eight to 10. Um, but also I'm currently working on a project that looks at um, changing children's behavior in terms of reducing and preventing obesity. In terms of career paths, I think sport and health science uh, students have a, quite a wide variety of job areas that they can go into and um, they can move completely away from sport and go into business, but they can equally um, continue in sporting areas. I think it gives you a broad perspective on various different subjects that you could go into, various different occupations you could pursue. After I finish the sports and health science course, I'd like to go into physiotherapy. Um, so I'm planning to do a two-year pre-registration master's course. Um, and then eventually, so after the two years, um, I would become a junior physiotherapist. There's quite a lot of options um, for careers. Uh, a lot of my friends have gone into teaching, but the options that I'm looking at is coaching, possibly furthering doing research, so looking at doing a PhD, or possibly just using my masters now to go straight into working with tennis players um, and using my degree in that aspect um, of more strength and conditioning and exercise physiology. The advice that I give to people looking to study sport and exercise science is go and check out the universities, see where you want to study, see what the courses can offer you and do it basically. It's a, re it's a really fun course um, to be involved in. Thank you.